Hello everyone, it's me, Mrs. Groner, and today we're going to be doing a really fun project called Found Object Insects with Labels. What are found objects? Well, found objects are super fun things, and in fact, it can be just about anything you find around your house or outside. They can be leaves, sticks, oil, plastic, pom poms or plastic, just about anything you can find around your house to create art with. Make sure you have permission from the grown-ups in your family to be able to use any objects that you find. But it's really fun to be able to go outside and find great things. Okay, so what do we need to complete this project? But for this project, you need found objects enough so that you can create a complete insect with all of the insect body parts. And we'll talk about what those are in just a moment. You'll need glue, labels, and scissors. Okay, so we're going to start with the labels. Right here are the labels that you'll need for your insect. These labels also include all of the parts you need to create with your found objects. So your insect will need a head, a thorax, an abdomen, compound eyes, wings, antenna, and six legs. Okay, if you need to pause the video here, go ahead and pause so that you can take your time to write out all of the labels so that they're ready when your insect is finished. Okay, and if you're done with your labels, then you're going to go ahead and take your scissors and cut them out. Okay, let me show you an example of one of the found object insects I created. If you notice, this insect has head, thorax, abdomen, six legs, compound eye, antenna, and wings. I included all of the important parts the insect needs. So this picture is ready for me to add the labels to. I'll show you another one that I made as well. This one I use things from outside and from inside my house. So this insect has a head, a thorax, an abdomen, six legs, antenna, compound eyes, and wings. Okay, I've already started gluing the labels onto this one. And if you notice where I'm gluing the label head, I'm drawing a line to that part of the body. And it's okay to have your labels stick off the page a little bit when you do that. But let's go ahead and finish labeling this insect. And when you're creating your insect, you can be creative. Decide how you want your insect to look. Do you want it to look like a butterfly, an ant, a grasshopper? Okay, so this one says six legs. So I'm going to add that next to the legs. Right there, I'll kind of put it a little bit down so I have room to add the abdomen page. Okay, and then this one says compound eyes. So let's add that to my picture. I'll want that one up here near the head, but I think I want it to stick off the page a bit. Yeah, just like that. I have wings. Let's add the wings there. Okay, and this one I'm going to put right next to the wings over here. I'm not even going to have to draw a line with that one because it is right there next to the wings. Okay, this one says, Antenna, wow, getting cramped up there by my insect's head. Where should I put the word that says antenna? You know what, I'm gonna squish it in right there like that. Then I need to really make sure I draw lines to show where the antenna and compound eyes are. I'll do that when I'm all done. And I also have the word abdomen. Okay, I have lots of room for this word near the back of my bug because that's where the abdomen is in the back. There we go, abdomen. 
So now that I have my insect finished with my found objects and my labels, I'm going to go ahead and continue drawing lines to show that I know exactly where each part of the insect is. So this word says antenna. I want to draw a line straight to the antenna like that. Compound eyes, oh, that's gonna need to go like that, boom. Right there, I have head, thorax, six legs. Ooh, that one needs to go right there. Abdomen is right there with the abdomen, but I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line there. And wings right here. Now my insect is labeled and it's all finished. That was a lot of fun. I think I'm going to make another one. I'm going to go outside right now and find more cool objects I can create an insect with. I can't wait to see what your insects look like. These really are a lot of fun to make. See you soon, everyone.